Hello everybody, Jeffrey Hauser, author of the Learn With series. Be sure to like and subscribe, etc., etc. Today I'm going to be talking about styling with Angular and Ionic. Explicitly going to talk about how to style Ionic components using the part, um, which I believe is unique to Ionic since I've never um, used it myself before or come across it, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, we're going to talk about styling Ionic components using part. This is second in a video series. The previous one I spoke about using CSS variables. This one is going to be part. What I've done here is I have created a default Ionic project, uh, the list project, and it mimics an inbox. We see a home screen uh, with messages and messages can click into the message detail. I made one single change to this component which is on the ion item inside the list I put lines equals full. Uh, this, this basically shows a border across the full scope of the item. Let's bring up the actual app. So we see a list of items. We can click into anyone, get the details. So a mock inbox. What I want to do, and this actually came up on a project I was working on, you see there's this underlying border across everyone. We want to remove it from the very bottom of the element. So let's let's look at what's here. Um, inside the ion list we have a bunch of app messages. Um, inside the app message is ion item, just like we were looking at here. And then we have this shadow root. I believe this exists because Angular, um, rather Ionic, is built using web components and then somehow exposed to, to Angular as Angular components. So I believe the shadow root relates to how this all works. And, and we have an anchor and then a bunch of other things. What we want to do here to remove the border from the bottom one, I'm just going to go border bottom none and actually yes and you see it did it. So we're going to have to write some CSS to figure out how to target the last item in this list and just remove the bottom border from that and we're going to use bottom border none. So I already jumped into the code so what we're going to do is we have the ion list on the home screen with an app message component inside it and the ion item inside it and we were talking Back in the CSS, you see this part equals native. We want to target that via CSS. I've done this a lot with ng bootstrap, but very little with Ionic doing custom styles. These libraries are awesome if you want to use them as is. Providing custom styles can be very difficult. And because of the shadow root, it's harder just to drill down into Angular, um, or rather HTML elements. Um, using standard CSS selectors. So because of our multiple component structure with the home screen having the ion list and app message component and the ion item underneath it, I'm going to put our custom CSS in global CSS. And I'm going to create ion list, so we're targeting ion list. And I'm going to do list with no bottom border on last child. Um, this is highly descriptive but is long. Um, we're going to keep it long and keep it descriptive. Now underneath the ion list we want to do app message and we're going to do last child. So last child is a CSS way to get the last last child of of an, of an element. So in this case we're getting the last app message of the list. And from there we want to do the ion item 
and we're going to do part oh, native. So here, so with last child, just a single colon. After I on item, we have two colons. And that's just the way it goes. And now we're going to put border bottom none here. Now this will not be automatically applied to the list because we have to apply this style to it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to save. Should rebuild here. Let's reload here. We see the main ones have have bottom borders, but we get to the bottom. Right. No bottom border. So this is exactly what we were trying to do, what I was trying to do. And I like this approach in the previous um, piece, pr previous video I did about this, I was using CSS variables to accomplish something similar. Um, in this one, I had to do use the part. What, what I will draw attention to is part wouldn't work if we remove this lines equals full. But um, parts is how the ionic directions guide you to making this happen. So this was an example of how to apply styles to an ion list using the part directive. Be sure to like, subscribe, check out my book series, and thank you for all the support.